I had this moment in church, which I think really, really turned me off. I was seven or eight years old and I was sitting in church. We happened to be playing with the sunlight that was coming down through the stained glass window. The Monsignor coming in and down the pew and grabbing us by our, our neck collars and said, I'll deal with you. And at that point, it actually terrified me. It was, it was like, it was kind of a shock. So that's when the journey began. As time went on, I made a transition from a player to a coach. The Sundays are, are emotional and fun, they're pressure packed. Players are different nowadays. I like them feisty, I like them testy. You have to have individual relationships with each and every player. As I become a parent, one of the more difficult things is the time. You either go 100 miles an hour, you're asleep, and there's nothing in between. There was something missing, um, but um, in, in my world, uh, there's never time to figure out what, what is, in fact, missing. I was losing an opportunity to be that dad, and that was difficult for me. The answers weren't there. They just were not there. A few years ago, I, with the help of a friend, uh, drove the stake home. We were out on the farm, my piece of property out there. Just kind of pulled over and happened to pull over on the bridge and had a conversation. He said, do you really honestly believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord and your Savior? And it was, yeah. But then it was, do you really believe it? And I said, well, yeah. He goes, what does that mean? And I paused, and I, I couldn't answer that. And that's when we had the further discussion, and that's where, um, uh, as I guess you would say, that's where I accepted the Lord in my heart for my lifetime on that bridge that day. It's not a, not a weird thing. It's not a born again thing. Not a, not, it's not a weird thing. It was a peaceful, really, really cool moment where I just felt I, I was no longer the, the dad anymore. I actually had become a son. And it makes things much easier from a day to day perspective. I can handle those responsibilities because I know that I have a father that's looking after me that uh, has got my best interest at heart. My name is Jeff Fisher, and I am second.